This is iOS 11. It's in beta right now and won't be out until the fall, but here is a quick look at what to expect. So there are a few major changes with this new version, and a bunch of little ones. Immediately after you install it, you'll see the new lock screen. Now the lock screen and notification center are one thing. So when you swipe down, you get the lock screen and your notifications in one place. And you can swipe up to see your older notifications. It's a bit of a new concept. On the home screen though, you won't really notice too much of a change. Little things like the lack of labels in the dock and signal strength bars instead of dots make for some difference, but swipe up from the bottom and you'll notice one of the biggest changes with iOS 11, the control center. It's now totally redesigned and it's customizable. You can go into settings under control center and toggle on and off the features that you wanna have available. And it utilizes 3D touch much more now. Most of the controls are accessed by pushing down on the screen. As far as other big changes, the app store has been completely redesigned with a new today tab that gives information on the latest and greatest apps. And there's a games tab specifically for games and an apps tab for all the other apps. And there is a new files app that essentially brings a file system to iOS. Here you can see all the files that you have stored on iCloud and other third-party services like Dropbox, and this makes it much easier to do things like send attachments. Siri is also updated with a new voice and a new interface, and now if you can't talk, you can type into Siri. And Siri now supports translation for a few different languages, so you can ask Siri what something is in a different language and she'll answer. In Messages, there's an updated interface with a new app switcher, and although not available just yet, Apple Pay will be available between people. So if you owe your friend money, you can easily pay them with an iMessage. In Maps, there is updated navigation, and when at a mall or airport, you can see a detailed directory of where everything is. Also, there's a new Do Not Disturb While Driving mode, which will stop notifications when your phone detects you are driving, a much welcome safety feature. In Apple Music, there is now friend sharing, so you can see what others are listening to, and in photos there are updates to live photos and memories. In notes, there's now handwriting recognition, so you can write something out with your finger or your Apple Pencil, and then you can search for it in the Notes app or through the Universal Search, and your result will come up even though it's handwritten. iOS 11 changes quite a bit, and this video definitely doesn't cover everything, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned to MacRumors.com for upcoming in-depth overviews on each individual feature especially for iOS 11 on the iPad. Lots of changes there. Those videos will be coming soon. But that is a quick hands-on of some of the major features of the first iOS 11 developer beta. It's not out just yet for everyone, and there will likely be changes to this, but this gives you a good idea of what to expect. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.